Good day everyone and welcome back Actually this video this will be our last video for uh, since we're going to prepare a total of 8 videos for this entire power system Okay, so our subject really right now is being installed to this incomer here and so far from part 1 to part 7 all these sections we have done already video on how to calculate the release setting so this video uh, this will be entitled as potential release setting calculation for medium voltage in camera part 8 of eight video so this is being located this relay is being located at the building b of this 11 kb switch gear at this bus from here 70 bbd so this will be located at this incoming uh, feeder from here so far uh, since this will be our eighth video we have done already seven videos for three substations for this for this uh, uh, three substations here for building F uh, building A and right now we're doing the releasing calculation for building B for this in camera so to those who have not uh, yet watched on our previous video I will give you some idea on what are the videos so far we have been, that we have been prepared already. So, our first video, which is being named as uh, part 1 of 8, is related to the releasing calculation for this bus coupler here for the 11 KB switch gear of building F. And this video, we call it part 1 of A. Our second video is the release setting calculation for the relay which is being installed from this outgoing feeder for the main Elevis QB switch gear of building A. So, since we have two uh, outgoing cable feeder from this 11 QB switch going to building F so the release heating calculation is the same value also which is being uh, assigned to this relay so uh, this part 2 of 8 video the release heating calculation is also the same for the incoming feed release of the building F11 KB switch gear so this in camera 1 and this in camera 2 have the same uh, release setting on the upstream of our outgoing feeder so this one are all the same so this is our second video and we called it part 2 of 8 video our third video or part 3 of 8 video is the bus coupler okay for bus 70 BBA and 70 BBB for this 11 KB switch gear at building A. Our fourth video, which is named as part 4 of 8, is the release setting of the incomers here. So we have the same setting for their, where this incomer 1 or incomer from BBA and incomer from 70 BBB. Uh, switch gear so this is the fourth video or part four of eight video our fifth video is related to the this cross tie uh, cross tie feeder relay which is connecting the our 11 kb switch gear from bus a to our 11 kb switch gear of Brother, building B. 
So, this is the connection between the 11 KB switchgear of building A and building B. So, this is the subject relay for our video. Then we called a, uh, it uh, as part 5 of 8. Our sixth video is related to this is our sixth video. This is related to the bus coupler, the really setting calculation of this bus coupler for 70 BBC bus and 70 BBD bus. Okay. And our seventh video, our uh, earlier video, is related to the incomer, uh, MB incomer for this uh, building here at building B which is at the bus 70 BBC and we call this video as part 7 of 8 video our video for today is related to this in camera as I discussed earlier so we have this value already okay this our uh, for the overcurrent protection relay the face and our uh, ground and we have here a sign here up the most upstream to be our time uh, pick up to be 1.6 seconds. By the way, to understand how we assign our pick up time here, please refer to those who have not watched yet. Please refer to our part 1, part 2, and part 5 videos where and I discuss on how uh, the time pick up here is being uh, assigned. Here, on our last video, on our last, on uh, our part 8 of 8 video, uh, this is the, the, the uppermost part. So, this is the highest uh, pick up current. A pick up time rather which is being assigned to 1.6 seconds so let's start our calculation now so this is from the in camera uh, 12 bbt01 from this uh, transformer okay and um, this is the location is on the 70 bbc this no rather 70 BBD uh, sorry this is supposed to be 70 BBD okay and the subject release from here is uh, F60 from G and Maycomb P143 from Snyder Electric our CT ratio is 2500 is to 1 ampere the burden is 10 VE and the class is 5P20. RPT here, the ratio is 11,000 volts into 110 volts. So, the same on our, uh, on the other side of the transformer, the secondary rating of the transformer is 200, 2,312 ampere. The 11 kV minimum line to line fault and the ground fault is 8,406 Ampere and 409 Ampere respectively. So from here, we will be discussing four types of release here. The phase over current protection relay, which is having two threshold. The earth fault protection, the 51N. The phase over voltage protection, the 59. And the phase under voltage protection, the 27 relay. So first, let's discuss on our phase over current protection, the first threshold. So this is the backup of the OL thermometer and our DGPT2 protections of the transformer. So this threshold is being set at 115% of the rated current of the transformer. So our rated current of the transfer from the secondary is 2312 just multiply by 100 uh, 115% that's why we have this value from here which is 2659 ampere but our first result we rounded off and we set 
this at 2700 ampere or at 1.08 per unit our inverse time cord we adapted the i triple e very inverse set at on our time dial multiplier is 0 0.60 so how we calculated this one we use this equation and we use this uh, constants from i triple e standard for the a b and p so we have here b and p on our pickup time we have we assign here right the pickup time to be 1.6 seconds so that's why we have here 1.6 second and we'll just substitute all the values from here okay from the the constant from i triple standard and our uh living kb minimum line to line fault and our pickup current and after we calculated we got this time dial multiplier to be 0 0.60 so we reflected this information here from here next our second threshold this threshold is set at 100 percent of ground stream threshold which is 105 percent out of this how we come up this 5000 this is for the downstream threshold so the location of our downstream since our subject really installed in this side here this we consider this uh, setting for this downstream current so that's why we have here 5000 right so that's why we have this 5000 ampere so our second threshold is being set at pickup current is being set at 5250 ampere or 2.1 per unit with a definite time set at 1.6 seconds so this is the same also to our ground element the peak for well for the pickup time our second relay, the relay 51N for the earth fault protection, our threshold is being set at 12.6% of the DT current of the CT. So we'll just multiply this 12.6% to 2,500 pickup current of the CT. So our threshold for the earth fault protection our pickup current here is being set at 315 ampere or 0.126 per unit with a definite time same as on our uh, phase element with 1.6 seconds okay our remaining uh, voltage protection we have here relay 59 for the phase over voltage protection our threshold here is being set at 100 per 115 percent of the rated voltage okay we'll just multiply 115 with 11 kv or 11,000 volts so our peak of voltage value here for over voltage protection is being set at 12,650 volts at or, or 1.15 per unit so as i discussed earlier on our previous video all this uh, relay from here for building A in commerce. We have two in commerce here. For building B in commerce also, we refer on this one. All this in commerce here, the under voltage and over voltage uh, time setting will be the same because we have this, they have the same level since we are also coordinating our time setting for our uh, voltage protection so here since we have set the our definite time earlier on our on our previous discussion here we have set we are going to set also uh, the same as the previous one we have so we're going to set also our definite time here to be 2.5 seconds last on our relay 27 for phase over voltage protection this threshold will be set 
at 80% of the rated voltage. So, 80% of 11 kV. That's why our pickup voltage here for the under voltage protection is being set at 8,800 volts or at 0.80 per unit. So, the same concept we have here, a definite time set at 4 seconds. Thanks for watching.